this is after I sanded the tiller extension handle and uh, bleached the chain locker floor and then uh, I put two coats of or well three coats of of stain on each one mm -hmm. uh, this one got just the golden stain this one got some age stain plus the golden stain but that was just that's the floor oh that sounds fun So when you buy epoxy, it comes in the two things. Yeah, together. you gotta put five parts resin to one part hardener. So you can measure it out and all that, or you can you can just kind of guess it's a dump. All right, Brandon, what are you working on right now? I'm making a spacer for the uh, the rudder so that it doesn't get into the, the uh, fiberglass shaft of the boat. So I'm drilling a hole through this hockey puck that is the si a little bit bigger than the rudder, and then I'll trim it down and probably just epoxy it right onto the top of the rudder so that it doesn't extend into the, the boat if it ever grounds or anything. Nice. Don't touch it yet. Uh, it's not hot. The, uh, the central part, that little core is hot. And this one hopefully will be tighter the top point. Oh yeah. Let's see. Seems pretty good. Can you make it a little bit too close to the edge? Uh, I don't think so. This is vulcanized rubber. I don't that think is it, true. It'll point to the back. You know, you want the thin part forward. Look at that. Good job. Right there. Like that. Now, put epoxy on it. NHL official. Yeah. <laughs> From the Czech Republic. We are at the boat today. Uh, we haven't been here for a few days, but we've actually been doing lots of runs to Goodwill. <laughs> and one of the things that we found for six dollars, Brennan has on his lap. It's got a spare uh, canister in it, also. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And also, uh, we found this for three dollars and ninety-nine cents. It's one of those throwables. We already have one, but it's old. Yep, and then Brendan's going to do an oil change, and we got a new marine toilet, or marine head, or whatever you call those, which is very exciting for me, because <laughs> I would like... Brendan is trying to get the toilet out. Trying just not to get crap everywhere <laughs> in the process. We'll see how that goes. So I'm the one that's supposed to take it up to the cockpit. Uh, once you get the stuff ready to, uh, where you're not going to get it, whatever falls out of it onto stuff. New toilet! New toilet is in! Yay! It's a little bit messy, I'd say. But, it's now in, so now I can go to the bathroom and all that stuff that ladies do. Or something. It's good being a guy not having to ever go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, I bet. It's very convenient. Yeah. You mean not having to go to the bathroom in a toilet? Ever. Most of the no, time. That's not true. I thought it was ladies that didn't pee. Well, ladies don't fart. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, it's filthy! 
Oh, the sales. Nasty. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's gonna look so good when you finish it, though. Yeah. And when you, while you clean it, it's gonna be so nice to watch while you clean. All right. Hey, there's a pen. Yeah. Brandon is pressure washing the cockpit floor. It looks awesome. So, trying to keep my joints healthy. Mm -hmm. So I've uh, been doing yoga every morning for the past few days. Uh, my wife has been my coach, instructor or whatever, so she's not here today, so I got her on the phone and I pulled off one of the cockpit cushions, which is a little skinny, but it'll work. I was going to take a video of sanding, but it started raining, so that went to crap. Okay, we are about to uh, refit the rudder. The steel shop got done with it. Can't even tell that it had any work done. It's pretty beautifully done. So, now we'll put her in, see how well she moves. I think it'll be real well. We'll find out. Alright, let's see if we can't get this rudder. In.
so um, I feel like I'm being a nightmare because the toilet, which basically I'm the only one that really requires one, has given us another little surprise, and I don't work on that or anything, so. It was just a hose clamp. But it is the bad hose clamp, I guess, when it goes to the tank. So, it leaked out some last night, and, uh, had to just take the old hose clamp off and go get a new one, and then unbolted the toilet and cleaned out all underneath it and stuff, and just put it back. There's not much to it. No. It's not a fun job. No. I'm sorry, and I love you. Mm-hmm. You're a wonderful husband. Mm -hmm. I did go get the hose clamp. Yeah. So, I did something. So. And today we're going to... Power wash. And finish yeah, painting. And, uh, I mean, and start... Start We're going to start the epoxy on the bright work. That's exciting. It's going to look really nice. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and give it a few cranks. Hey. What are you doing right now? I'm just uh, making sure these windows are clean enough to put caulk onto. Which will do what? Hopefully stop some of the leaking. Cool. Um, you're supposed to really take them off and rebed the whole thing, but I really don't. I don't know much about that, and I don't want to get into that. So I'm just trying to get the paint off of the top of the the rubber ceiling, and then I'm going to put a silicone coat over that. Alright, so this is probably stage two of rebedding a window, because this one, and I found the last one, uh, the silicone around the edges was easy to just peel off. So I peeled it off on the last one, and when I bedded it, it looked a lot better. You can see on this last one that it sits right along the window, oh, it sits right in there, whereas the last one, it looks like crap. So. I went ahead and got this stuff off on this one now, which comes off in little flakes, little strips of silicone. 
And I can see, and I've, according to what I heard, you're supposed to take this out and actually put the bead down and then pop it on. But I don't really know how to take this out. I can see that it's like there, but I'm not there yet. So this is definitely stage two of doing a window because I feel at some point in time this will not work and I'll have to figure out how to actually take that out. But that'll be another job after the paint's on and everything. So 